Blossom Book House needs no introduction for Bangaloreans. It's one of the favorite spots for book lovers right from kids to the elderly. The soft-spoken, ever-smiling owner is almost a legend. As the only son of humble farmers, he began as a simple bookseller on Majestic Market footpath to the owner of the largest second-hand bookstore in India. I managed to catch this busy man and heard his success story directly from him. Presenting to you the legend himself, Mr. Mai Gowda. Uh, okay, uh, so where were you born and brought up? In which place? Uh, I was born and brought up in a place called uh, Rangasamudra near Mysore. And uh, uh, can you tell a little bit about your background, like uh, brother, sister, parents, what they were doing? And uh, my, actually, I have uh, two sisters. Uh, younger sisters and uh, my parents are uh, agriculturalists uh, and what about your education and all that where did you study yeah, i studied at uh, sclc in that village then i moved to mysore for studying the cpc in diploma then i moved to bangalore for studying engineering okay uh, so uh, what was your uh, interest in childhood how did you get into engineering uh, actually uh, my Interest to science and math basically. After um, I joined this uh, <coughs> diploma, it reduced a bit. Yeah. Okay. So then, uh, after, actually, we were in we were from a poor family. So I mean, after uh, I did diploma from Mysore, no, I mean uh, there was no sub I mean support to pursue engineering. So I came to Bangalore to work and study to to do both. Um, I did some small smaller works but uh, it was not uh, at me. Then I started selling on the roadside, books uh, roadside. Then uh, um, after uh, completing, you know, when studying itself I started uh, selling books on the roadside and doing both. Uh, so after uh, finishing engineering I, uh, I continued with, uh, do, uh, with this. Okay, uh, so you said you were selling books on the uh, roadside and all that. So how did you come in contact with somebody? Because you said you came here as a student. Yes. So how did you get into that? You no, know, actually when, uh, when going to college, no, I, I used to be in one uh, hostel near Majestic. There uh, people used to sell on the roadside. A lot of people are used to sell books on the roadside. There uh, used to go, go to help and uh, I got a knowledge of, you know, from that. Uh, so you you were doing this as a part-time job along with your studies? Yes, then? yes, part-time. For, for me, you know, most of the time I used to be in, in the college from morning to evening. After, mm -hmm. the, after finishing the college, I used to be in uh, Since you are into books and yeah. all that, so uh, did you have interest in reading when yeah, from yeah, childhood? Yeah, from childhood itself I used to read a lot of books. Yes. Uh, so what kind of books are there, you interested in? Uh, in uh, village only Canada books used to be in, uh, till Mysore also are not like uh, that is that much included in those days. Um, I used to read Canada books more. Uh, so who are your favorite authors or any favorite books uh, that you have read in Canada? Canada, Bhairappa is my favorite. And then Kuwampu. And any favorite, Kanan, yeah. any favorite books uh, that you have? Uh, this uh, Bhairappa's Parva. And uh, Matadana, then one more, uh, uh, one more hunting book uh, is, I don't remember the title. Uh, recent book, Aavarana. Uh, then how did you get into reading English uh, books and all that? English books, I mean, uh, one of my friend uh, gave that uh, animal farm. George Orwell. George Orwell. That, um, yeah, then um, uh, Jonathan Livingston. These small, smaller books, I mean, the beautiful books, right? uh, Little Prince, like that I started reading. Then I started uh, reading like uh, crime fiction and that. Uh, yeah. Okay, and uh, see, if you had, like, uh, after engineering, hmm. the easiest thing to do is to get a proper yeah, job proper and, service. you know, you just go to office, come yeah, back and yeah, you have a stable yeah, job. Yeah. But what, how what did you decide to what come into this? Huh? I mean, in placement, I got a job in uh, GE. Um, uh, maybe I went uh, for work at least, I mean, maybe around 15 to 20 days. I mean, same routine job, so I got bored. Then I, I, mean, uh, I thought uh, this is not my thing, so I opened a bookshop, a small bookshop actually, 200 square feet bookshop, in 2002, January. 
from that uh, yeah it is drawn like this now uh, how did you come up with the name blossom like why did you pick blossom no, i mean i came uh, like uh, from a uh, payment no so <laughs> that uh, okay, idea so was growing from yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, see the uh, one thing i've noticed is you have lot of uh, rare books also yeah, which yeah, yeah. are not printed in india so yes. how do you manage to get those you know, books actually we go to other places like chennai and all other major cities to collect uh, uh, so now uh, since you decided to get into books mm. uh, why did you get into second hand books because you can you could have opened a new bookshop or a library so how did you decide you know, that this I, is what i used to sell books on the road so when most of them were second hand books and uh, in um, those days uh, ganga rams a uh, premier book store they used to sell only new books so there were big book stores sapna and all selling new books uh, and second hand books nothing was there only select books of was there that to they used to sell only rare and uh, antique books not uh, like general uh, this fiction and all they never used to keep uh, i mean uh, that is also i studied the market Uh, before uh, this, then uh, this is the main chance I have. I mean, that, so I thought. Uh, uh, so now yeah. I read that uh, Blossom is the biggest in Asia or India, something like that. Mm, biggest in uh, India in uh, second-hand books. Uh, so what is our plan for future? You have set up an online uh, yeah, portal. Yeah, but I've we are seen. not concentrating much on that. I mean, we used to I mean, we plan to concentrate. Uh, so in future what do you plan to do do you want to open more uh, oh, bookstores no, no, or no. continue with the same oh, no we will continue with this continue uh, and uh, i also read that uh, you have uh, ravindranath tagore's letter so yes. how was that i mean how did you find that oh no that that's what i yeah, have in, in uh, mumbai while well, uh, searching for books no? we found one of the um, old book in that that letter we found and uh, you have kept it even now yeah yeah Uh, so uh, in your uh, uh, experience so far how many years has it been uh, no almost 13 years over 13 years so in your experience what has been the uh, like very good experience the best experience so far best experience so far one day when a baby and a mother came uh, the mother told me uh, the mother asked that baby um, that, that day was her birthday the baby's birthday Uh, the mother asked her uh, ch- ch- baby where do you want to go today i will take you wherever you want to go then that baby said uh, i want to go to blossom that uh, <laughs> then that mother you know, with then that the same day they came and they, they t- told that i got shocked that much <laughs> this thing is there for blossom so that must be very yeah, nice yeah i can sketch and same way what was the difficult situation or unhappy situation some problem something yeah, like that difficulty initially no, no, actually no, you know me I, i told you when i came from a very poor thing and that too that uh, my english knowledge is not that much because of the, you know government schools and all right that one yeah i was struggled because when i go to some uh, book selections for distributor no they used to ask money initially but industry doesn't work like that because some books sell some yeah, book doesn't sell um, yeah that difficulty was the whatever the amount to be collected in the evening we used to go go to market in the morning to pay over whatever the amount. it is like that yeah. Uh, so right now how many uh, approximately how many books do you have in your mm, shop maybe around 2 uh, lakh 2 lakh uh, lakh okay. and uh, one more question one person wanted me to ask mm-hmm. uh, you must be coming across many rare books yeah and also you yourself are uh, very interested in reading so yeah. how, i mean do you ever feel that okay let me put this in my personal collection or do you feel that uh, you want to i mean you don't feel like giving it to somebody no, else is what, there any what happened was so from um, last 3 4 years we are not getting any good uh, rare book i don't know what happened uh, initially used to get but uh, that time uh, we were growing we can't keep uh, in books for our uh, this thing so that what happened whatever we had uh, we have got it old uh, rare book we have sold them yeah uh, but we have sold them for higher prices so you don't have uh, any personal book collection no, no, at home no no nothing is there right now it is yeah. okay uh, so what are your other hobbies apart from your uh, book store and reading so what other things do you do in no, your free time i collected lot uh, like this no i have collected lot number lot number of stamps old stamps and uh, photographs of old uh, like indira gandhi's and uh, uh, 60s photographs lot of lot of them that's all yeah
And uh, do you like movies? Uh, do you watch movies? Oh no, I don't find time to watch movies. But I like, but I don't find time. And one more thing is every time I come to the yes, bookstore, yeah. whether it's early morning or late yeah. in the evening yes. or night, you are always here in the shop. Don't yeah. you get tired of uh, this and routine? That is there, but <laughs> what to do? I mean, I love the job. Uh, and one more person wanted me to ask you, uh, if we tell you the name of any title, mm. you know exactly where it is located in the shop, yeah. which bookshelf, and okay. also you know something about the books. Yeah. So how come, how did you gain so much knowledge? Fifteen years almost now, so I mean, I mean, that's the I mean, love I have got for the books. I mean, this section what we have arranged here, no? it's like that, uh, author-wise, uh, like a section-wise, like that, so it's easy for me to uh, okay, and last question. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of people who are very big fans of this bookshop. Yeah. Like they want to come here yeah. and they keep coming here again mm -hmm. and again. So what is your message for them? Like uh, what would you like to tell all of them? Mm, I love all of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His story is inspirational. Hard work, perseverance and a genuine love for books has brought him to this level. Not only has he managed to set up a successful business from scratch, he's also the source of joy for thousands of book lovers. If you haven't visited this store, then make sure that you visit Blossom Bookhouse on Church Street near MG Road. There is something available for everyone.